Hi, so my name is Bayer van Aberbe, I'm the Chief Executive of Marketing at Bayer. Bayer, thank you very much. So today what's happening for those that were not, do not have the privilege of being here for themselves? Today is a big day. It's, we're very excited. So we launched the PEP and Netball Festivals, uh, partnership with the PEP and Sasson, schools netball. So we're really going to make a difference in the lives of one as many kids as possible. And we're launching today and after this we will do 18 festivals across three provinces where we will invest into educating them on the, how netball works and also on and off the field life skills development and really making a difference in their lives. Nice. But what, what, what inspired this idea that you should sponsor many netball? You could have sponsored any other thing, but what, spon what, what motivated you to choose this particular sport? So many netball was definitely for us the gap. It, wasn't, it doesn't exist. Oh, yeah. so, so we believe that let's start grassroots. Pep has always been good with we starting with, with where the needs is the biggest. And we believe if we start early, when they're, when they're still very young, the investment is just a, a very good investment to make. And that the skills going forward are just going to continue to grow. So we want to invest with the young, when they can still learn the, the, the right skills, so that they become the Putias that we, that we will have. I love sure. that. I love that. I don't know if you are aware of this. I'm from Soweto, in fact. Yes. And I've noticed how dearly loved Pep is. You should see your stores in Soweto. Very packed, because they love your prices and all those things. Are we going to see maybe Pep doing a similar thing, maybe in those uh, uh, in the townships, so that you can give back to the townships as well? For sure. I think that the most difficult thing, and thank you for the compliment, but the most difficult thing about having over 2,500 stores okay. is like where do you begin? And, and we took the, we took the, the lead from schools that was in Africa to, to, to help us to where do we start first. But definitely the aim is to be in as many schools in as many areas as possible. So yes, we're not excluding anyone. Um, we want to start we want to build the foundation well, but the aim is to go everywhere. I want you to motivate other businesses like PEP, yes. so there are others that can sponsor such initiatives but they are not doing anything. I want you to just motivate them. Why is this important to sponsor such young kids at their tender age? Why is it important for you to sponsor them? So I, th I think we all know education is such a big deal oh, yes. in Africa. And, and if you just use that as the, as the link, you say what can we do to help with education? And, and you can invest in a school, you can invest in sport. And I think sport is a, it's a great area where you can play to learn. And therefore you can start small. And it's literally as like you can donate a, a soccer ball or a netball to a school for the, for the kids to play with. And I think sometimes we think it's only like the big brands that can do it, anyone can do it. So, so my, my call to any corporate or individual is you can start by just doing it yourself and do something small. So don't, don't miss the opportunity to make a difference. Yeah, I love that. So for this to be an ongoing thing, I'm sure that's also your hope, that you don't want this to be the end of it. For this to be an ongoing thing, what should happen, what do you want to see happening so that you can also be motivated to continue with this yeah. initiative? So what we want to see is we want to see that the events are run well. So we want to have a good experience for the families that actually comes to the event, for the kids that, that plays. That is, that is our key KPI. Oh so, yeah. Um, and then after, of course, all the things that we check. So that's why we're saying it's foundation, let's see how it runs, let's see if, if kids leave um, the board being happy and motivated because that's the, that's the aim of the whole festival. Alright, so when do those festivities or festivals kick off? So we're starting next week. Oh, next week already? Yes. Oh, wow. Uh, next week we're starting with the first one in the Western Cape. Then we're coming back the week after the counting and then we go to the Free State. So there will be quite a bit of... So much tourism, on. yeah. Um, but yeah, we have to get to all the, all the schools and make sure that they are proper run festivals. Talking about all these activities, what do you do for fun and what do you do to relax? I'm sure working will kill you, trust me. So what do you do just to have fun and to relax and unwind? Me personally? Yes. I do for fun, I do this. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, so I've got a, a great privilege as a, in my role. There's, there's so much exciting things that we do. I also have three young kids, so, so the importance of investing into, into them, time and effort is really for me an important thing as a dad. So that's why that's bringing us so close to my heart. Oh yeah, no thank you. So where can we get hold of you, maybe on your socials? And if you want to know more about this initiative, where can we go and search? So you can definitely go to our website, www.epstores.co.za and then all our social platforms, so Instagram, Facebook, you will find all the information shared there. So if there's anything needed there, that will be your place to go.